Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I have a few questions from users that are either afraid of 24H2 or simply have questions about it. So um, the uh, questions that we have for the um, Windows 11 24H2 that starts slowly rolling out today is first of all um, I checked Windows updates and I don't see it. Remember that for now, it's rolling out to Windows Update users that have turned on the switch that says get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Now, it's the second question. I did that. I still check Windows Updates, and I don't see it. Try a restart. Not a shutdown and press a power button. A real restart by going to uh, your power button here and clicking the restart option. Try it again. If it's still not there, then you're, there's something that prevents you from having it right away. Uh, there's a lot of telemetry going out of your PC that lets them know if you're ready or not for this. The uh, other thing, the other question about it is, is this optional? It's optional for now, yes, because if you don't go looking for it, um, if it appears in your Windows update, once again, it will be a download and install. There will be a button that's going to say download and install. And if you don't press that download and install button, you won't get it. It's going to stay there as, oh, you know, I'm here if you want me, but it's not going to install uh, by default. Um, if you're on 23H2, you still have until October of next year to keep 23H2, so you can stay there. Uh, the other question, should I force it? I never recommend, unless you're an enthusiast and know how to get out of a bad situation, I will never really um, tell someone, well, you know, go and uh, force it in, in some way by either going to the release preview uh, insiders where it's going to show up um, just wait for it. And it's the best thing you can do is wait for it, as you never know what could happen. Uh, it's a bigger update than 23H2 was, so there's more changes in your PC with this, uh, fe this um, feature update. The other question, is there a lot of new features? Well, there's a lot of new things, but they're all small things that for most people, they won't even notice that there were changes made. And we're going to go through them this week. I'm going to go through everything that is there. And surprisingly, or not, because it's Microsoft, it might not be all the features and, you know, are not necessarily going to be there, even if you're at 24H2. I know that on my 24H2 machine, I am missing out on some stuff. So you're not necessarily going to have all the features with 24H2 immediately, even if you move on to 24H2. Uh, the, you know century-old question of is it stable enough for me to install and so on. It um, is stable on the machines I have it on. It is a new version of Windows and um, definitely that feature update maybe for some people could have issues. There's not a lot of issues that we could see but now that it's starting to roll out we might actually start seeing more of what it has as problems or not. So once again, you know, waiting is the best option, uh, definitely. And uh, last question, is the image on the website up to date? I believe they are not up to date yet. And I will be checking that out as soon as the images are available from the Windows download page. I will let everybody know in a video. But I believe if you download today, it's still 23H2 there. It's going to take... Um, maybe a few days to a couple of weeks before they actually change the images of the uh, the build that you can download. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.